All right, today's just tech. I'm gonna try a different camera angle out today, see a better show off this project. Um, this is kind of a project that's been like rolling around in my head for a while, trying to solve, um, you know, when you're just trying different things out and then you put it back to your back of your mind, but you've always got it, always got it there. What it basically is, is a way to um, have a Raspberry Pi or some other device hang around your neck, um, something that draws a lot of power, but you don't want also to have a big chunky power bank here um, hanging off you. So basically what it is, it's like a lanyard, I thought, first thought was like to have a lanyard um, and then like some, uh, somehow like incorporate a USB cable into it, but that's, you know, it's going to take a lot of sewing, a lot of um, that kind of stuff, not really the kind of skills I have. Um, and then basically I started making these uh, USB cables with a, a power cord sheath to them, which are quite nice. And um, and that's got kind of got me thinking, why don't I, instead of making the USB cable into the lanyard, why don't I make the, lan the USB cable the lanyard? So what it basically is, it's got uh, two sides to it. One side is just a normal piece of power cord. Um, that's just like a normal piece with them. Um, Still got the uh, middle to it, and then this other side, this side, I'm trying to think of which side it is. This side has got the actual um, USB cable in it. So, what it does with this little block, which is uh, just with a student bolt on the back, the cable comes through and then it's kind of strain relieved. Uh, and then also the other power cord is just knotted on the inside, and then that's how that's held. And then at the top, behind my neck, you can't really see it in this video, but behind my neck, I'll just take it off for a second. I have it. You have this bit which goes behind your, behind your neck, which also connects the USB cable and the standard power cord bit, and then the USB cable comes out the back of your neck, sort of like Matrix style, plugged into the Matrix. But then this kind of goes down to your for your T-shirt, down for your T-shirt into your pocket where your power bank lives. So you could have anything hanging around your neck. You could have. Uh, your phone on the lanyard if you want to say you were out and about and being a tourist and you want to use Google Maps it's quite power intensive you can make a lanyard to have your phone so you can have it so that you lifted it up um, lifted it up but it's also still connected and you could have like a massive power bank in your pocket you could take videos all day live stream that kind of stuff um, but this is kind of what I just want to use is basically use a, a Raspberry Pi this is like a 3.5 inch uh, screen it hasn't got the touch screen on it because it was one that was damaged from another project uh, and then I've just got two buttons power um, shut down and reset but you could also change the these buttons to do whatever you want I've just them for um, various reasons because there's no touchscreen on it and there's this back bit which I made which is a lanyard um, which is like some standoffs with a lanyard hook so that it's got the center of gravity in the middle and then there's some other standard um, 3d printed parts for other standoffs that is pretty much it really. It's got a, it's got it has got a board on the middle here which um lets you use the GPIO as well as the screen, which is how I got these buttons here. But um as usual, uh link in the description with uh, 3D printed parts, um a bit about lanyards and stuff like that, making these uh power coded cables. You could use um some of the, like this piece if you just want. There is one I'm gonna uh, in another post what I did without the hole inside that makes you just a standard lanyard. Have some power cords so you can make your own custom custom length lanyard if you want to. As usual, thanks for watching. Bye.